If throughout human history, there has ever been a celestial phenomenon recorded as a harbinger of a momentous event, then an inevitable question arises. What would happen if a similar phenomenon reappeared in modern times? Would it be merely a coincidence or a phenomenon with a deeper meaning that modern man has yet to fully explain? Recently, astronomers have noted the appearance of a new object designated 3I Atlas. This astronomical phenomenon is rapidly attracting the attention of observatories and the international scientific community. This is not only due to its physical nature, but also because of its rare appearance and orbital characteristics, making 3I Atlas a particularly noteworthy object to watch. Notably, the name Atlas is not merely a technical designation in astronomical observation systems. In its symbolic depth, it evokes the image of Atlas, the god in ancient mythology believed to bear the weight of the sky. This linguistic and symbolic coincidence, while lacking direct scientific value, has led many researchers and historians to question how humans, from ancient times to the present day, have consistently sought to assign meaning to celestial phenomena. The three Eye atlas appeared at what is considered a sensitive time in contemporary history amidst significant social, technological, and religious upheavals in the world. With its rare cycle and characteristics that compelled close scrutiny from scientists, this phenomenon quickly transcended the realm of a typical astronomical discovery, becoming a widely discussed topic not only among experts, but also among the general public interested in history and religion. However, it is important to clarify that this content is not intended to predict the end of the world or draw extreme speculative conclusions. The approach chosen here is a rigorous and interdisciplinary research method. By working with astronomers to analyze the actual orbital data from the 3 I atlas and placing this phenomenon alongside ancient historical records and biblical descriptions, we pose a scientific and historical question. Are what is happening in the sky today a remarkable repetition of signs recorded in the past or simply the way modern humanity continues to search for meaning in the vast universe? Before any phenomenon is attributed with symbolic or religious significance, the scientific community always agrees on a fundamental principle. Every hypothesis must begin with data. The three eye atlas is no exception. If the question is whether this is the strange star mentioned in the Bible, the first step is not belief, but observation, measurement, and analysis of the phenomenon through the lens of pure science. According to data published from reputable sources such as NASA and international astronomical observatories, 3I Atlas is identified as a comet with a long and exceptionally rare orbit. Initial reports indicate that this object travels in an orbit spanning thousands of years, meaning its appearance is not a familiar phenomenon in the history of modern observation. This rarity quickly led to Atlas being placed on the special watch list, not only for its scientific value, but also for the profound questions it inadvertently raises. One aspect that has particularly caught the attention of researchers is the rapid change in Atlas's brightness over a short period. Observational data shows that the comet's brightness increased more quickly than initially predicted, a characteristic not commonly seen in typical comets. In astronomical history, similar fluctuations have been observed in several well-known comets, including the 1844 comet a phenomenon that sparked much scientific debate and attracted widespread public interest at the time. Furthermore, Atlas showed signs of disintegration as it approached the sun. Scientifically, this phenomenon could be explained by the unstable material structure of the comet's core under the influence of high temperatures and strong gravity. However, it is the combination of its unusually long orbit, unusual brightness, and rapid disintegration that makes Atlas a unique case study, transcending the familiar image of a normal comet in common perception. From a scientific perspective, 3 I Atlas is clearly classified as a comet and follows known laws of physics. Modern measurements do not reveal any supernatural element in the nature of this phenomenon. However, history shows that humans have never simply observed the sky through telescopes. Alongside precise numbers and computational models, each rare astronomical phenomenon in the past has been placed within the historical, cultural, and religious context of the era in which it occurred. It is at this point of intersection that the story of the 3 I atlas begins to expand beyond the realm of pure science. 
When a rare phenomenon occurs precisely at a time when humanity is facing great upheaval, the question no longer stops at what it is, but gradually shifts to how it is interpreted by humans. And it is here that the connection between the three-eye atlas and the image of the strange star in the Bible begins to be mentioned, not as a conclusion, but as a hypothesis with historical and symbolic significance. Is the three-eye atlas truly a repetition of a phenomenon recorded 2,000 years ago, or merely a rare astronomical event that modern humans have reinterpreted with old historical questions? Science has not, and perhaps has no duty to, answer that question. But the very appearance of the atlas, with all its unusual characteristics, has once again placed humanity in a familiar position, looking up at the sky, both measuring scientifically and searching for meaning beyond the numbers. When the measurements were complete, the data recorded, and provisional physical models showed 3i atlas to be a comet obeying known laws, the scientific narrative seemed to have reached a logical conclusion. However, history shows that this was never the end of how humans looked at the sky. For alongside the precise numbers, each rare astronomical phenomenon in the past was placed within a larger context, one where science did not yet exist and humanity interpreted the universe in the language of faith. Before the invention of telescopes, orbits, and charts, the sky was considered a place where signs were sent down to humanity. Timely flashes of light, unusual movements, or sudden disappearances were not only observed, but also carefully recorded in religious and historical texts. It was from this perspective that the image of the star in the Bible emerged not as a precise astronomical concept, but as a sign with profound meaning for the people of that era. And it is here that the question begins to unfold. If we view the atlas today through the lens of modern science, what did people see and understand 2,000 years ago when an unusual phenomenon appeared in the sky? To answer that question, we need to go back to ancient records, where the star was not just a light, but a sign believed to have guided history. As modern scientists approach the three-eye atlas phenomenon with orbital data, physical models, and precise measurements, history reminds us that humans have observed the sky in a completely different way since ancient times. Before telescopes or algorithms, anomalous celestial phenomena were not only seen, but also recorded in the language of faith and symbolism, as if the sky were not merely a physical space, but a medium for sending messages beyond ordinary human understanding. Among those ancient records, the story of the star that appeared at the time of Jesus' birth mentioned in the New Testament, the book of Matthew, always holds a special place. According to the biblical text, this star was not just a light in the night sky, but a guiding sign, leading the wise men from the east to Bethlehem. This description has attracted the attention of many modern scholars, as it differs significantly from the familiar image of a fixed star, which only serves as a backdrop in the sky. What makes the story special lies in the very active nature of the star of Bethlehem. In ancient texts, it is described as a phenomenon with a clear movement, and in some interpretations, even capable of stopping at a specific location. In the context of ancient astronomy, where stars were considered immutable and eternal, this description takes on an unusual, even mystical quality. This detail has sparked centuries of debate among theologians, historians, and astronomers interested in the history of celestial observation. Equally noteworthy is the timing of the star's appearance. In the Bible, this sign is directly linked to the birth of a figure considered central to a new era of faith, morality, and thought. For many scholars, the coincidence between a celestial phenomenon and a major turning point in human history cannot be overlooked. Whether explained by science or religion, the connection between celestial events and human destiny seems to be a constant thread running through history. For centuries, numerous theories have been put forward to explain the Star of Bethlehem in astronomical terms. Some researchers suggest it may have been a rare conjunction of bright planets, creating a prominent bright spot in the ancient sky. Others point to the possibility that it was a comet or an unusual light phenomenon, impressive enough to have struck civilizations without modern observational tools. However, to date, no theory has been unanimously agreed upon by the scientific community. 
It is precisely this lack of a definitive conclusion that makes the star in Matthew a sensitive yet compelling topic. For academics, it is clear evidence of how ancient people recorded natural phenomena using the symbolic systems and beliefs of their time. For those interested in the relationship between science and religion, the story continues to raise a contemplative question. If the star of Bethlehem was not a typical star according to astronomical definition, then what kind of phenomenon was it? When placing the Three Eye Atlas alongside ancient biblical records, the striking similarity lies not in scientific or physical coincidences, but in haunting symbolic intersections. In both cases, the celestial signs did not appear gradually or predictably. They arrived unexpectedly, almost without warning, and immediately attracted attention far beyond the scope of a typical natural phenomenon. If the star in Matthew was powerful enough to compel wise men from the East to leave their comfort zones and embark on a quest for its hidden meaning, then the Three Eye Atlas, in its own modern way, compelled the scientific community to quickly direct telescopes, manpower, and research resources toward it. This similarity doesn't stop at the moment of appearance. The scope of influence of the two phenomena also reveals a familiar pattern in human history. The star in the Bible wasn't just seen in a specific location, but quickly became a widespread sign, transcending geographical and cultural boundaries, connecting people in different lands with the same question, what is being signaled? Similarly, Three Eye Atlas wasn't a discovery confined to one country or one research group. Immediately after its confirmation, the phenomenon became the focus of attention for observatories and the international scientific community, demonstrating that rare astronomical phenomena, regardless of the era, have the potential to stir global attention. At a deeper level of symbolism, the name Atlas continues to reveal a layer of meaning that many cannot ignore. In ancient mythology, Atlas was a figure destined to bear the weight of the sky on his shoulders, becoming a symbol of the cosmic burden and the order of the world. Of course, in modern science, Atlas is merely a technical designation based on observational systems. However, this linguistic and visual coincidence still leads many cultural and religious researchers to question, is this just a meaningless coincidence? Or does it reflect a long-standing human tendency to attribute a mission to celestial phenomena that transcends their physical nature? It is from these points of intersection that theologians and historians observe symbolic similarities between ancient biblical descriptions and rare astronomical phenomena recorded in modern times. This is not an assertion that the Three Eye Atlas and the Star of Bethlehem are the same phenomenon or share the same scientific nature. Instead, it is a recognition of a recurring pattern in the history of human understanding. Whenever humanity enters periods of great transformation, they seek to decipher meaning from signs appearing in the sky. And at this point of connection, a key observation, often cited by scholars as a cautionary tale about the approach, emerges. The Bible does not provide scientific names for celestial phenomena. What religious texts emphasize is not the physical structure or workings of the universe, but the spiritual significance of these signs for humanity. This very approach leaves the question of coincidence or intention open. And it is this very openness that continues to fuel contemplation whenever a rare phenomenon like Three Eye Atlas appears in the sky, forcing people, whether in the age of science or the age of faith, to look up and ask themselves, are we witnessing a mere coincidence or a sign with a deeper meaning yet to be named? Looking back over millennia of history, humanity has come to realize that major turning points in civilization are rarely remembered solely for events on the ground. Alongside political, social, and ideological upheavals, history also preserves memories of celestial signs, as if the heavens and humankind have always existed in an invisible connection. Approximately 2,000 years ago, according to biblical accounts, a star appeared precisely at the moment that ushered in a new era in the history of human faith and thought. Although interpreted in religious terms, this image remains to this day as a symbol associated with the beginning of a new age. Moving into the present, the landscape of humanity may have changed in form, but the signs of instability share many thought-provoking similarities. The world is witnessing profound shifts in political order, social structure, and cultural values. Beliefs once considered fundamental are being questioned, while uncertainty about the future is becoming increasingly apparent. Simultaneously, 
Technology is developing at an unprecedented pace, bringing humanity closer to the universe, allowing observation and analysis of phenomena previously only found in legends and ancient texts. It was precisely in this turbulent context that the appearance of Three-Eye Atlas was considered by many to be an unmissable milestone. From a scientific perspective, it was a comet discovered and monitored using the most advanced observational instruments, possessing a long orbit and rare characteristics. However, when considering the timing, Three-Eye Atlas appeared at a critical juncture for humanity, causing this phenomenon to quickly transcend the realm of a purely astronomical discovery, becoming a catalyst for profound historical, cultural, and spiritual reflections. For many social and religious researchers, the coincidence between a global context of instability and the appearance of a rare astronomical phenomenon like the Three-Eye Atlas evokes a familiar pattern in history. Whenever humanity clearly senses a shift in the times, they turn their gaze to the sky, not necessarily for an accurate prediction, but for a sense of order and meaning amidst unpredictable changes. In such moments, the sky becomes a mirror reflecting humanity's anxieties, hopes, and profound questions. From that perspective, the key question posed is not an affirmation, but a contemplation. Do celestial signs, such as the star mentioned 2,000 years ago, or the Three-Eye Atlas today, appear as a reminder whenever humanity stands on the threshold of major changes? Not about what is about to happen, but about humanity's place in a larger historical and cosmic cycle, where upheavals on Earth seem to always coincide with silent movements in the sky. In the face of rare astronomical phenomena like the Three-Eye Atlas, the boundary between science and faith is often mistakenly perceived as a confrontation. However, in the approach of many modern scholars, these two fields are not necessarily in conflict. Science exists to describe the natural world using data, measurements, and physical laws, while faith does not seek to replace those descriptions, but rather raises questions at a deeper level. With the Three-Eye Atlas, science answers the question, what is it? Astronomers determine the orbit, composition, brightness, and physical variations of this phenomenon based on observations and computational models. This data allows us to better understand the nature of comets and their place in the structure of the universe. At this level, all conclusions are based on verifiable evidence. Faith, meanwhile, does not deny the scientific data, but raises a different question. Why did this phenomenon occur at this particular time? This is not a question of mechanism, but a question of meaning. In religious tradition, especially in the Bible, celestial signs are often understood as reminders for humanity, appearing when society faces periods of transformation or crisis of faith. This spirit is expressed through a familiar biblical interpretation. The signs in heaven are not for everyone, but for those who seek them. This statement is not intended to create distinctions, but to emphasize that the meaning of the signs is not automatically revealed. They only become meaningful when people actively observe, reflect, and question their place in the larger picture. Therefore, viewing the Three-Eye Atlas doesn't necessarily have to follow a single direction. It can simultaneously be an object of serious scientific study and a catalyst for deeper reflection on history, faith, and human destiny. At that intersection, Science and faith are not mutually exclusive, but coexist as two different approaches for humanity to understand and engage with the universe. If you're interested in questions that lie at the crossroads of science, history, and belief, or simply outer space, subscribe to our channel to continue exploring phenomena and milestones that have humanity gazing up at the sky. And what do you think about Three-Eye Atlas? Is it just a rare comet or a symbolic sign in the course of history? Share your perspective in the comments below. These diverse viewpoints will make this dialogue more complete.